Hi there. I'm Muir Manders, a software developer on the source control team at Meta. First, I think it's useful to start with a definition of source control. Source control is the practice of tracking changes to source code. Fundamentally, source control helps software developers read, write, and maintain source code. Another way to think about it is source control helps developers collaborate by sending and receiving changes with other developers and by tracking different branches of work. Source control also provides critical metadata to developers so that they can understand when and why source code has changed. Now, looking at the current landscape of source control, I think it's safe to say that it's dominated by Git. Git is popular for a reason. It does a lot of things right. But when the Sapling project first started, Git didn't quite meet our scalability needs. As I mentioned before, initially scalability was the primary focus of the Sapling project. To keep up with the pace of code growth over the years, we've redesigned many aspects of our source control system. One of the key elements to our scalability is lazy fetching. By lazy, I mean that Sapling doesn't fetch data until it's needed. For example, file history and the commit graph are both lazy. And more than just the repo data behind the scenes, your working copy is lazy as well. We use a virtualized file system to defer fetching a file's contents until it's accessed. Together, this means you can clone a repo with tens of millions of files in a matter of seconds. It also means that giant repo can fit on your laptop. There is a catch with the laziness. You must be online to perform many source control operations. This trade-off is worth it for us, but it may not be worth it for small repos. Beyond scalability, we've focused a lot on the user experience. We aim to hide unnecessary complexity while providing a rich set of tools right out of the box. A good example to start with is undo. Just like in any software, when you make a mistake or you just change your mind, you want to undo your changes. In Sapling, undoing most operations is as easy as SL undo. Undo demonstrates how Sapling has developed first-class integrated concepts that improve the developer experience. In the same vein as undo, but perhaps even more core to Sapling, is the concept of stacked commits. A commit stack is a sequence of local commits similar on the surface to a Git branch. Commit stacks differ from Git branches in two main ways. First, a Git branch is essentially a name that points to a commit. With a Sapling stack, there is no indirection. The stack is the set of commits. What does that mean? For one, you don't even have to give your stack a name if you don't want. And if you check out a commit in the middle of the stack, you're still on your stack, and you can use normal commands to amend that commit. Another difference between sapling stacks and Git branches is that stack commits don't have to be merged all or nothing. As early commits in your stack are being code reviewed and merged, you can continue pushing more commits to that same line of work. Similarly, if you push a large stack of commits, you can incrementally merge the early commits while you continue to iterate on the later commits. In November 2022, we released the Sapling client, which is compatible with Git repos. To try it out, go to sapling-scm.com and follow the instructions to install the Sapling client and clone an existing Git repo. There's a couple other cool things I wanted to mention. On the website, under the add-ons section, you can see that Sapling comes with a fully featured GUI called the Interactive Smart Log. It's really a game changer. It's a high-level UI that hides unnecessary details while still giving the user powerful tools like drag and drop rebase. Also, we've released a proof of concept code review website called ReviewStack that's designed for the stacked commit workflow. Finally, I'd like to note that the Sapling client is just one piece of Meta's source control system. In the future, we hope to release our virtualized file system and our server implementation. Together, these three integrated components really take source control scalability and developer experience to the next level. If you want to learn more about Sapling, please visit sapling-scm.com. If you're interested in getting involved directly, please check out our GitHub project page. We welcome contributions. 